Hello everybody, it's Ben and I'm back with another Just Ben Funko exclusive video and today we're going to be covering my Stranger Things area and I'm a pretty close to 100% Funko um, I'm a checklist guy, I go with PPG, Pop Price Guide for my checklists, they're very accurate, pretty close to accurate with their checklists and they get more and more accurate every day with their pricing um, I do my pricing when I tell you guys how much it is based on what I've either bought them for, sold them for, and then I do take in consideration Pop Price Guide as a starting point. Um, the reason why I feel like they're not 100% accurate is because I think that something that's, you know, closer to mint should sell for more than, say, something, of course, out of the box or not quite as good of condition. So that's, you know, I give you guys a roundabout idea of what it should go for, and that's why my ranges are so wide sometimes um we're going to talk about how i protect them where you get those cases from um we're going to talk about the different labels we'll assume like this is the first video of mine that you've ever seen um like i said i'm at pretty close to 100 percent the only things that i don't have yet are the ahoy set the fun days ahoy set so let's dive right in um it's kind of like my other sets i try and do it as uh chronological as i can um as well as put them into groups. I've got a lot of McFarlane here, um, some Loot Crate stuff, and some Culture Fly stuff we can get into here. So let's dive right in. I'm going to go ahead and start at my 11 area, which I have here down in the corner. Um, this is every item that Funko has made, aside from, like I said, when I say that, just assume I mean everything but the Ahoy set. Even these uh, plushies here at the bottom, these are Funko as well. So there's Lucas, the chase variant of her with her wig, and then her without in the bloody nose. And that's just a lunch pail. I picked that up at Target. They're around 15 bucks, as well as the Ouija board. Um, these are the McFarlane set. It's uh, Ghostbusters of Mike, Will, Dustin, and Lucas. That's a piece of the Funko dart, the... Um, it molts, so there's three. Mama Bear, Baby Bear. That right there is also Funko. That's the Lucas Sinclair Christmas ornament. I'll pan through here as well. Um, I get this jewelry at Hot Topic. The keychains and the jewelry, we'll get into that. I got these um, mugs there. I got those at Target. All right. And we'll cover Dustin's little plushie here in the corner. And we'll go ahead and cover his dorb. And his five star. Funko Five Star just started releasing those over about the last year or so. Those came out about three or four months ago. And that's just classic Dustin with his hat. It's very similar to his plushie there. All right, that's 11 with electrodes. And we're going to go ahead and start right explaining what the two different labels are. Um, why you need to have two if you want to have the full collection is you want to have the limited edition sticker there. That means that it was at the convention. This one means that it was released at the convention, but it's a shared release. So that would have been able to be bought at like Barnes & Noble, Hot Topic, FYE. I believe Target's even done them. So the one on the top is the limited edition. That one was at the convention. One on the bottom is your shared release. There's your box lunch exclusive 572 box. That's Punk 11. Okay, Target released what's called the 8-bit set. Funko has quite a few 8-bits, but it doesn't fit any better than with Stranger Things being from the 80s. And so they released it in a box. I don't have the box right here. It took up too much room. It looks like an arcade box, but that's um, 11 and it's Target exclusive 8-bit. Okay, the mother box is the 421 box, um, and that's the Chase variant right there. She's holding her ego. Right above it's just the mother box 421. So there's the difference there. And then there's Hot Topic, and that's her underwater. So it goes back to a lot of the memories she has back when she's at Hawkins Lab with Brenner. There's the FYE 2-pack of 11 with Egos and Mike. The 511's the one in her hospital gown. And then Season 2 Mother Box of the 545 with her longer, curlier hair. I went ahead and put Dustin's Snowball Dance right here. I felt like it worked really well because this Dustin's segment is in the next area and we'll definitely cover that. Um, that's the 5,000 piece limited 
that's her and her um, hospital gown, the door, the 392 box. And then that's the Benny's Burgers. You know, Hopper's Friends, where he catches her eating the fries back. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you sick there. All right, there's the mother box right there in the middle. And that's what's in, that's in an acrylic Funko Pop stackers. That's the difference between these cases and that one. I trust both. Um, the crystal protector cases are a little bit cheaper and you can order them in bulk while the acrylic take up more room. So it really just depends on what you prefer and how you like to keep them, but they both do protect it, but this will protect it better. And that's why I have my autograph of her in that. And then there is the mother box of the 393, sorry, excuse me, 386 box. There's the open of the, that's just the open flap of the Funko 5 Star of 11. It comes with her wig and it comes with the Egos box. And then there's her Chase variant mini with her wig. All right, we're going to come up just a little bit. These just got released not too long ago. And that's the full set. I got mine at GameStop. And that's the Christmas ornament set. That's just what they look like in the box. We're going to pan up just a little bit. And then there's the Hot Topic exclusive Chase variant. And then her regular of the Pocket Pops. I'm trying to get no glare. The reason why you'll see a lot of glare. And I try and do. I'm getting better as I do more and more of these videos. But the crystal protector cases and the acrylic do too. They reflect a bunch. And so I try to get a good view so you guys can actually see the mini. Um, but I am an inbox collector obviously. I do like to play with stuff too. So that's why you do see like my loot crate items there out of the box. But let's cover these two minis real quick before I hop into the loot crate. That's 11 with electrodes. And then her underwater just like her pops. We're going to come up and we're going to cover the Funko Reaction Heroes. These are all on your checklists here. These right here, that's the uh, Fall Convention release of the Chase variant. That's got her with her wig, Will Upside Down, and then the Closed Mouth Demogorgon. Um, as far as Funko goes, if you ever see a Closed Mouth Demogorgon, that usually means that it's the Chase variant. Um, that's just a regular box. Got Dust and Will and Open Flower. And then there's Lucas Sinclair, Mike Wheeler, and then there's Jane Hopper 11 there in the back. I'll pan out. These are, while I'm up here, that's Dustin, 11, Lucas, there. Those are called McFarlane's. And I have pretty close to the whole set. They just released, there's Hopper. They just released a squeezable dart, a Mike, and a Will that I don't have but I'm working on it. There's Eleven's Christmas ornament out of the box there. And then a few more jewelries and keychains. all I got at Hot Topic. And then I got these lights. Um, I used them for cosplay. I used them for my Halloween costume. My wife played Joyce. Um, I got those on eBay. They're about like eight, nine bucks bag. Um, Hawkins Police Badge. Um, there's the Stranger Things, obviously Stranger Things, the Chase variants of both Will and Eleven in the box of their Reaction Heroes. And I'll just pan in on that. I thought that was dope, so I got it, of Will. Okay, these are the Loot Crate things I was about to cover. Um, that's Mike and Eleven on the bike there. And then this one's the Loot Crate exclusive. And then that's the New York Comic Con exclusive. It's just the Chase variant. And it shows her in the upside down. And then this one came in the Culture Fly box. And that's Elevated 11. She's in the elevator. I'm sure they call it something different. But all right. There is the Duffer Brothers. That just came out not too long ago. There was 2,000 of those ever made. And that's part of the creator's packs. There's Benny's Burger, 718, and then there's Elevated 11. And then there's 11 Snowball Dance, which is exactly why. I put Dustin there, but I'll show you Dustin here in a minute. So I'll pan out just to show you how I got. I'm pretty sure I covered everything as far as 11 goes, um, except for one of the rarest Funko Minis you can find. This is a 1 in 72 Hot Topic exclusive. It's the variant of the one on the left. The difference is, is she's holding an Ego. 
I can also tell you where I get my acrylic cases. They double as card cases, but they're very sturdy. I haven't had one come chipped or they haven't chipped just by, you know, typical wear and tear. So I'm happy to help you guys finish your collections as far as protecting as well. So I've covered everything there at the bottom as far as the glasses go. So let's get back into Funko and we'll cover the Dustin's little area here. So there's Dustin and Steve. These are the vinyls. These are Funko as well. There are three as far as Stranger Things so far is concerned. So we'll cover the Dustin with the Lucas Sinclair and then the Dustin and Steve as they're getting ready to go down. Going full Goonies. Oh my god, I love the Goonies. I'm such a fat nerd. All right, so that's a Dustin Reaction Hero that's just out of the box. There's Mike Snowball Dance, Dustin. There's your shared release. And then there's your limited release. And then that's the hot topic of him and his hockey mask, the 719 box there. All right, we'll come up. We'll cover a couple Funko Minis there. That's Will and Vines, and then that's just his common mini. The Will and Vines will run you about 60 bucks right now. Maybe a little bit less, but possibly more. I'd grab it now before it gets out of control. Most of the pops that I've shown you right there um, won't run you more than about 50 bucks, aside from the Millie's autograph there. Um, Stranger Things, aside from the Hoist set, are pretty reasonable. Um, I'll cover the ones that aren't. There is Dustin. That's Gat Matarazzo signed Dustin. There's his Funko Mini there. There's the Barnes & Noble exclusive. It's got him in a brown jacket. I'm sorry about the glare. I'm trying to... There we go. Hot Topic. That's Dustin. He's actually got Dart. And then there is the 8-bit Target exclusive. There is his Funko ornament, as well as his Funko pen topper. All right. There is his mother box there, the 424, and then his Ghostbuster box. All right. There's the shared release and the limited release of Mr. Clark. He's holding the plate, you know, when he explains how to get the upside down. And then this right here, that's your most expensive non ahoy set of of your Stranger Things set, excuse me, is the limited and even the 2017 shared. They're both worth a little bit right now. About 150 bucks. You might be able to talk someone into 100. Definitely something that'll go up in price. There's Steve with bandana and Steve with sunglasses. I'm so sorry about this glare. I'm trying not to get it. Ghostbuster Will. There's Billy with his sister Max and then her Max and her costume variant. All right, Think Geek shows up. Upside down Will, and then there's your Chase variant of the 8-bit Target exclusive, upside down Will, and then there's his regular 8-bit and his mother box. At the there you go is Ghostbuster Lucas, and then there's 8-bit Mike, Ghostbuster Mike, mother box Mike. I put Brenner up there because there is what's called a Dorb's Ride, and there's the 39 box. So there's Brenner, Lucas. There's a custom. I don't buy too many customs, but I did like that one. And then there's the 8-bit Target exclusive of Dustin. Um, those will run you about 20 bucks. The Target exclusive ones will. The Will will run you up close to around 40, 50 bucks. Mr. Clark's anywhere from 70 to 150 bucks, depending on the shape of the box and which of the variants. All right, well, let's back out here. At least Stranger Things isn't going to take as much time to get through as Game of Thrones. And rightfully so. Greatest show ever. Sunday, guys. Are you ready? Winter is finally here. There's some Shan... Shan? <laughs> Sean Austin. Vampire Bob. The GameStop exclusive. And then Bob and Scrubs. I went ahead and put them there next to Will. Everything there you see except for the Legos is Funko. There's the Dart. Will and Mike plushies. There's Mike's door, or Will, sorry, Dorb and Five Star with his out of the box reaction hero. That's Culture Fly. That's where you get the Dungeons and Dragons dice. And then there's Mike's set, Dorb, Five Star plushie reaction hero. Let's come up a step here. And we're going to cover the Hopper area. So there's Hopper's Christmas ornament and then his badge. 
which is a Bambox exclusive. And then a little bit more Bob. And then there's Mr. Clark and Joyce's Minis. They'll range you. Joyce is about 60 to 80 bucks as well as Mr. Clark. He's I've seen him go as much as 125 though. There is Joyce, her mother box of full series, the 436 and the 550. One she's holding lights, the other ones her hands are on her hips. The Target exclusive, Joyce Byers, there with her biohazard suit with the Hot Topic exclusive of Hopper and his. Hopper with the vines. And then there's Hopper's 512 mother box. Beneath it is the 512 Chase. The difference is he's holding, I think it's just his hat. Yeah, he's still holding the coffee. And then there's the 720. And then just like the Brenner, there's the 40 box. That's a door bride of Hopper. You can see his little happy face there. And then there's his mini. His mini is the common box. It's not an exclusive. However... It is a 1 in 72. It'll run you around 40 to 50 bucks. There's Barb and Bynes. That'll run you around 100 bucks. There's her 1 in 72 um, mini. And then she also has a pocket pop. <laughs> I love this little lump interest. It's kind of like the Tormund Brienne one. <laughs> they do the Dorb on the Funko Game of Thrones set. So there's Billy and Karen, Billy being Max's sister when he's looking for Max, and he goes over and that's Karen Wheeler, <laughs> Mike's mom. Shared release and limited release. All right. Like I said, there's three Comic-Cons collections that you got to worry about. There's the two biggest ones, which is San Diego Comic-Con in the summer. And then there is the fall convention, which is the New York City Comic-Con. Well, there's also a third one, which is the spring convention, which is the Emerald City Comic-Con. And that is where the Upside Down Barb and Eleven came from. And then there's their vinyl. There's the third one, like I said. There's three. And there's your third one. There's your Barb. And then the Barb 8-bit, where the rest were Target exclusives. Barb's is the Emerald City. And there's the limited release. And then there is your shared release. The plushie there with the pen topper, that's both Funko. The upside down one, that's a Loot Crate exclusive. That'll run you anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks. All right, let's come up one. We're going to cover the rest of the Dorbs. As you see, there's the Chase variant of Will upside down. And then his common, no, we already covered his common box. So there's Lucas. And then the Bandana Steven. Steven, that came out last year. There's the common and shared one of San Diego Comic-Con. All right, there's one of the more rare minis from the Stranger Things collection, and that'll be your Steve with the bat there. That'll go for around 100 bucks. You can probably get Brenner for around 60. There's your Chase Closed Mouth of the Demogorgon, followed by Jonathan and Nancy. Well, there's, I think, a 1 in 24. Those are running anywhere from 15 to 25 bucks. And then there's Lukey's. Lukey Dookie's five-star and reaction hero. And then there's the Demogorgon Christmas ornament. And then Lukey's mini. All right, let's come up to Demogorgon Alley. All right, so there's the pop, pocket pop. And then, kind of like the Dobby for the Harry Potter set that I have, as well as the Wicket for the Star Wars that I'll show you. That's the Target exclusive 10 inch of the Demogorgon. And then there's the third installment of Dart. Okay, and then there's Dart's pop there. The Chase one, his mouth is closed, like I said. And then we'll come over to the mother box of the Demogorgon, which is the 428 box. The Chase variant there with the closed mouth there on the left. And then in the middle is the Funko Mini. And there is the Funko plushie as well. And then it has an 8-bit of both the Chase variant with the closed mouth and open both Target exclusives. There's the out-of-the-box Demogorgon reaction. And then they also have a 6-inch Demogorgon there. And that's the smoke monster there at the top. That's also Funko there with the Chase variants of the Demogorgon and closed mouth Demogorgon there. And then if you come there on the ceiling, 
is where I put the chase variant of the reaction here of the Demogorgon. That there in the middle is a mint condition posable McFarlane. I think that thing is absolutely sweet. I'll come panning over here just to show you the comic book that came and the, and the picture that came with the loot crate. I think those are pretty dope. I absolutely love Stranger Things. I'm excited for the show to hit the third season. We got to have something to cover now that Game of Thrones is over. All right, remember, just for watching today, you get 10% off your entire next order with Just Ben Collectibles 011. That is my eBay store handle. You can either message me here on YouTube or you can even message me there. Let me know that you subscribed and I'll give you 10% off almost permanently. Oh, you guys, we almost forgot. Uh oh. That are the movie moments. That's 11 in the Demogorgon, kind of like this. The loot crate stuff that I showed you. And then the next one up is Steve and the Demo Dog. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm really done. I hope you liked my set and thank you for joining me. Thank you for making this last year such a success with Just Ben Funko. We are growing and we love to give you the biggest and largest and most authentic set and collection you can find on eBay. Um, we'll send them to you waterproofed. I love to buy, sell, and trade. That's why you see my collection change so much. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. Um, I'll do a quick walkthrough of this. We're going to cover some Lord of the Rings and a little bit of Marvel. We've got, still got to do the DC, and we've definitely, definitely got to cover a little bit of Star Wars. All right. Well, thanks again for joining me, and you guys have a fantastic day. Valar Mogulis and watch some Game of Thrones. Thanks again.